today just a little bit of collar play. Join us. So today we're doing this top, pattern number 115, Anne's top, and we're doing it because it's such a great versatile base and there's so many versions of them out in the store today. Winter is a great time to do this top. Summer is too, but um, this is going to go well. Our pattern of the month this month is 1900. It's a jacket and this is going to be a great base underneath. So we're going to all get to where we've got this and got it great. This is a beautiful wine. I'm going to use the Selvage. The one I saw was a Michael Kors, had some great options on it. So let's watch. I'm going to make a couple changes. This is what they are. Because I'm going to add length, I'm going to add a few inches to the bottom. I usually add six inches. I'm going to pull this away a little bit because I want it to be a little looser around my hips. So I'm going to just leave this right here at the fold and I'm going to pull this away and I'm adding one inch right there. I'm not going to do any changes to the neck edge. I'm going to cut that exactly as it is. I'm going to change the collar when they get there, but not to the neck edge. And so we're just going to go for this and cut it this fast. There's so many of you guys who are actually sewing along with us, and you'll have this top made as fast as I will. <laughs> okay, so here's my little six inches here at the bottom. This fabric's got two-way stretch, but part of the stretch is more in one direction. So just always be sure when you lay it down that the greatest point of stretch is going around. But I want to make use of this selvage. I should, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to move that up. I had some cuttings on the back side. I've got plenty of fabric. I'll move that up here in just a little bit. So let me finish cutting this out. Normally I just cut it free so then I can get a little better angling on cutting this out. Okay, top cut exactly. The front is cut exactly as it is. No changes, just adding some fullness to the bottom. So I'd already pre-folded this so I can use this now. And I didn't need all this width. All right, so I'm going to lay this down. Again, I'm going to pivot out from the bottom just a little bit because it's going over my hips. And I'm going to add my six inches in length. There you go. I'm going to put that down. And show you how I'm going to cut the rest of this. Right back. See, the beauty is there's only three pieces on this fabric. It's awesome. And this is this fabric. I mean, look at this. The selvage is amazing. It's got this beautiful, oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sometimes I know you guys can't see the fabrics, but I know when you get them, it's like, yeah, wow, this is too exciting. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to cut the sleeve. We'll have this top made in no time and we'll have a brand new top. How's that? And I'm going to cut it a little bit longer. I love long sleeves. I love sleeves that are too long for me. Or three quarters. I have a tendency to go one or the other. <laughs> Okay, so I got these three pieces cut. All I wanted to do was cut those so we could get to the fun part, which is what we're going to do with the collar. So this is really cool. So because the stretch is this way, and I want it to be this way when I'm sewing the collar on, I'm going to refold the fabric. So because normally, if I put the collar on, if we kind of understand the collar and how, how it's going to work, this is the collar. There's a center back fold, 
and these are neck edge. So typically when you fold it on, the reason I'm wearing it so you can see, is that you fold it in half like this and you sew it along this edge and you can see there's the collar. It's only this deep and it's double. And so you sew it to the inside and it faces itself and that's where the way the collar looks. What we're gonna do is not fold it in half, we're gonna make it this wide. And first off, because the fabric is beautiful on both sides, I don't need a right and wrong, so I'm gonna make a lighter collar. And I also wanna make it wider at the non-neck edge so that it will fall down lower is what I want. So what I'm gonna do is I want the stretch to go around this way. I'm going to fold the fabric this other direction. <laughs> I want to fold the fabric with the greatest point part of stretch going this way. And I'll show you why I'm going to do that. So just refold the fabric. You can fold it any which way you want. I want the stretch to go this way because you don't have to get any more fabric for this. Two yards will still be enough. I'll show you how this was done. Okay, so I have my selvage down here now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let me get this right and I'll make sure I show you once I've done it. Okay, the greatest part of stretch is going this way. So I'm going to put the collar like this. Keep in mind that when you look at your pattern piece, the fold is going to, I'm not going to use the fold. I'm actually going to cut a seam here and a seam here, and I'm going to cut the whole width. I'm actually going to move it away so the collar is just a little bit thicker but I want to use this raw edge. That raw edge and that selvage is so pretty. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to add two inches here and two inches here. So I'm going to lay this here to where I add two inches on each end. I'm going to cut here. This is actually the neck edge. This is where I'm going to sew to the garment. So I don't want to change this neck edge. But from here, I'm going to cut two inches wider. So you can see the actual portion that comes down, this part, is going to be wider. So it's going to be able to spread out a little bit. Now I'm doing mine two inches. Once you see it and it's done, and I'll show it to you, you can cut it more than that. This I'm going to add a seam allowance because this is on the fold and I'm actually going to have a seam here and I'm going to have a seam here. This already has a seam allowance, so I didn't need to add for this, but this doesn't have a seam allowance. So I'm going to add 3 eighths here, and then I'm going to come 2 and 3 eighths inches out at the bottom so that they're both coming out wider at the bottom. And see, that's what my piece looks like now. So now I'm going to just fold the neck edge in half. We're going to sew it just like we typically would sew it, but I'm going to make these two seams. That's going to sew to the neck edge, and then it'll fold over and drape, and we're going to make this great top. All right, so if you're ready, let's go sew. All right?
just such a beautiful, simple little top. I really wanted to share it with you using this beautiful selvage. You can see that it just lays right on the top. It, it almost looks like the, it was just woven into the top. And of course it was. <laughs> also, if you'll notice that when I pick this up, there's your raw edge. And it's simply because the right side of the collar is, shown, is sewn to the wrong side of the neck edge and then it just flips out. Also, you can see your two seams. You could finish those if you wanted to. They're not going to show. You could also, I copied it just like the Michael Kors top. You could also divide the neck edge is to the back and the front. The front is longer, the back is shorter. So you could divide it and then the seams would end up exactly at the shoulder seams. But again, I, it was exactly the same front and back and so I did that. You see a little bit of seam here in the front? Just don't worry about stuff like that. It just looks great and it's a beautiful collar. And as you can see, really, really simple to do. Enjoy your collar. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.